<laughs> hey, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dead in Vinland. The I feel like a scumbag edition. <laughs> I literally just clicked the button and clicked it again, and uh, <laughs> we're putting a cut in over two separate videos. But uh, we're going to to go ahead with the plan, and we're going to try to knock him back. Resisted. Okay, um, that's fine, I suppose. Um, we'll end the turn. We're gonna focus on on the main guy then, and um, now hit and run will move us back. Your next moves us forward. Um, we've got nine action points to deal with here. So if we went three, four, that's seven. And then in the turn, is that? No, that's not a wise use. We can do four and four. Is eight. And then move back. It's probably a better use of our of our resources, right? Or we can do your next. Two, four is six. And then seven, eight, nine. Maybe that's the way to do it. Debuffed. Excellent. Now we'll do this. <laughs> oh, nice vacation indeed, right? Okay. It's actually a good thing that we got him there because uh, we couldn't have hit the back row with that uh, moving back, uh, moving back shot. So I think. It's probably safe to say that we've got this one in the bag. Um, obviously, I'm not going to um, to put the mortgage, but the mortgage on this this uh, this battle. But <clears throat> I think it's uh, pretty safe to say we're in a good spot. Um, and I mean, we've we've planned for that. So to, to be surprised or to to act like. Uh, like we would be in any other way is uh, kind of disingenuous because uh, we took the time to uh, to craft all these these buffs and we took the time to um, plan to use the uh, the dog uh, in in such a way the dog's buffs and um, we um, you know coordinated everything to to occur in just this manner so you know it's the old you know I love it when a plan comes together kind of situation more than anything. And we knew Kari was a beast <laughs> from the get-go, so to buff her just uh, just makes everything that much more ridiculous. There, so we want to fight. Now what? I speak to Nyal again. Well, I think I can do that right now. Blowdwed, go for it, girl. So, Nyal, you've seen your, who your master is now? Pfft, no way. You've seen how weak I am. I really need Bjorn's protection more than ever now. Follow me and we'll beat Bjorn and I'll give you my protection. No, no, not worth it. I would just be a burden to you. We need your help. No, you don't. Bjorn will kill you anyway, so... And I'll soon die, either from hunger or disease, or I'll bleed to death alone in a ditch. Oh, there's no point in all of this. Leave me alone. You're really depressing, you know that? Oh, I know. I can't do anything right. Even my mere existence is a burden for others. What if I found a way to make your life happier? <clears throat> no, no, don't worry about me. I'll die and everyone will be happy. Wow, too real. There must be something that you like. Uh, <sighs> we could play a game. Yes, which game? Ugh, I'm sure to win, though. It won't be fun. Let's make it interesting then. If you win, we'll give you three bottles of beer. Ugh, if you want. But if we win, you'll help us against Bjorn. Deal? Okay, okay. I'll win though, so we'll see. What are the rules? Insults duel. Insults duel? What a chore. I'll explain quickly. We exchange insults. The first one to stop loses. That's all? That's all. Come to speak to me again when you're ready, or I don't care. 
Okay, so we're obviously gonna send Find new insults Wait, what? Oh my god I wonder one, two, three, four, five. How many? Okay, stop. Stop doing that. How many? Um, one, two, three, four, five. So who did we get to join us so far? We got her, and we got him. One, two, three, four. Yeah. New insults. I wonder if this means new um, new dialogue has opened up at all. I wonder, I wonder. How's the food situation? Alright. Yeah, so like I say, despite my complaining, everything is really um, proceeding as planned. We're going to restock ourselves on... Uh, on bones here a little bit. Um, yeah, I hope my, uh, the recording might be a little bit tricky in the coming days here just because um, the old the old ball and chain, remember her, is gonna be off and um, staying at home in the, in the new domicile here and we're gonna be doing some of the uh, last few minor um, improvements, upgrades. Um, before the um, before we can officially say everything is done, it, <clears throat> those upgrades actually will end up putting me into a um, a dedicated um, office space, which um, which I will end up. You know, I, I I'm very aware of, of sound quality and how it, it, it uh, fluctuates in some of my videos, and it's just unfortunate there's nothing that uh, can be done right now about it. Um, but so we'll be looking at you know softening some of the walls in that room and um, turning it into into a space that I can actually uh, record uh, properly in. Um, again, here I'm at the bottom of the stairs looking up. Again, I can see a door behind me. It's, it's a new door, a new house, but um, it's the same kind of situation. I'm just kind of plunked um, somewhere. And um, once I go into this new, we got the, the, the renos to do, um, which will give my daughter a room, which means I'll end up taking her room that she's currently in. And using that as uh, an office, and everyone will be will be shuffled once again, um, ideally, or or um, supposedly, um, for the better. And um, we only wanted one accuracy, right? <clears throat> I gotta I gotta stop clearing my throat into the mic. Um, what can we do anything here? We've got all this ancient knowledge. We're not doing anything with it. What do we want to do with it? This all takes ancient knowledge. None of this takes ancient knowledge. Why does this take ancient? We used, no, we didn't do this. This just means we can do it. Right, more breeding. We don't need more breeding, God knows. Drying stuff, like is that something that we want to Dedicate any of our life to less salt consumption. Mining. Yes, these we definitely want to devote time to. So we're going to give you Irek. And then we're going to give you Kari. No, we don't need hunting anymore. Don't be absurd, man. 16. 16. 27. 60. There we go. The bros will uh, will pound that one out, I suppose. Should be nobody on hunting. All right. Okay. Tomo and Nut will also have to get back to mining soon. Actually, come to think of it, but we need you here to cook because we should have some meat. Yes, we got nine meats. We got some water. Well, we can always make water.
there we go. So I'm going to assume that um, finding new insults will happen as um, as dialogue <clears throat> around the campfire. Sorry, and um, we'll just trust that that's going to happen when I click end day. <clears throat> so yeah, the need. Remember that. Remember those old discussions about. Oh yeah, go. We're going, going to go in the bush and get my trailer out, and we'll build a. A recording studio on that someone put it somewhere on my estate well that doesn't that doesn't need to happen anymore because <clears throat> I not only am not on the estate I am uh, I am also having my own space within the uh, the residence I think we would have had dialogue by now wouldn't we <clears throat> how does one find a new insult I don't understand no comedy clubs they can go to. Removed. So we ran out of guard dog trait. Hmm. We gotta turn some of that milk into cheese too. We didn't. Uh, we didn't do that. Okay. Okay. Let's do that first. That's good. We got no no sheep to feed, so that's all fine. Nothing's growing. You guys can keep going on the battle plans here. Max damage. Yep. We're gonna need hunter or um, miners again, though. We'll start that off now, even though we also want to upgrade the mining area, which is. Which is this one. The iron, yeah, that's fine. It's gonna take five iron, no less. Okay, can anybody help you? Got lots of people that can help. They're not necessarily very good, but they can certainly help. Um, somebody should hunt again. So we'll get Kari out there. Look at this, actually giving people jobs to do. What a, what a time to be alive. Hunting camp, our resources are, oh, they're not that high. They're not that high at all. Three to nine iron, you know what? Ah, yeah, that's fine, we'll do it. Uh, Cause we're gonna be losing five on this turn, so. Now, we didn't get any insults, so do we wanna? Let's check the map some more. Let's deal with this snake, what is this guy up to? A venomous snake. You notice a snake knotted around two bottles. The way it's reeled around them gives the impression eh, the snake eh, the snake is protecting them. It certainly won't let you take them. Distract, make a diversion or kill it. Make a diversion. <laughs> Let's go handle that beast, Parvana. You just want to take the bottles. You don't want to kill it. You carefully hit the ground with your feet to attract its attention. Then when it's looking in your direction, you slowly shake your staff. Car <laughs> Barvana shakes a staff. The snake keeps observing the movement. It's too soon to try and take the bottles. The reptile isn't focused enough on the staff's movement. You thus keep doing your strange dance and the snake changes its attitude. It stands up straight becomes more threatening while following your moves with attention. It doesn't seem to worry about your free hand. One more. You keep making the movements, but unfortunately, if the snake has stood up straight, it's because it's about to attack. Indeed, it sees the staff as a prey and swiftly strikes it. You feel a terrible pain in your hand. It makes you scream. Through the blood, you distinguish some bite marks. You hunt the snake and it runs away without further ado. Six days. Wow. Oh, so we didn't even get the bottles. I wonder if there's insults in those bottles. Oh, we'll never know. Um, so can we heal you, Parvana? Poisoned, yes. Oh, it can turn into poisoned too. So we definitely want to, uh, want to heal that. There we go. There we go, no problem. We got so many resources. Nobody nobody needs to be poisoned in this camp. Um, 
Yeah. No sense passing time. There's really nothing going on. We gotta handle some of these, uh... These very runic looking things. Disgusting pot. Lost in the middle of nowhere, you find one of the most disgusting things you've ever seen. A cooking pot filled with rotting meat. The meat still has some bones attached and bathes in a red gooey substance that overflows from the pot. Circling the extinguished cooking fire are human skulls, stones, and a rune. Add some raw ingredient. Who's our cook? You. What will you add to the pot? Mm, reconsider. We don't have anything. Okay, let's go back to the camp. What were our options? Vegetables, meat, and fabric? No, fabric we have. So we're going to get meat. Let's put somebody here to grab some berries. We don't have any vegetables. I wonder if berries will do. Let's see, what, what was that? Add a raw ingredient. We'll put you. What are our options? Fish. Fish. We don't have any vegetables though. Um, so it's either going to be fish or a vegetable. I think we're going to put meat, right? Like, Let's just put some meat in there. It's the only thing that really makes any sense. Although nothing, <laughs> realistically nothing makes sense. Uh, add a raw ingredient, we'll put you in. Let's try the meat. Who knows what's going to happen. Raw meat. It was oddly satisfying to add more meat into the pot. Somehow, you could even say it felt right. The con content of the pot still looks awful, and yet you feel hungry. You have very mixed feelings about this. Okay, so we'll put some of everything in that pot. Um, Moira is also a fisher, relatively speaking. So we'll do that. And then we'll put Parvana here. And we will grow some vegetables. And actually, you know what? Because of that... We actually don't need the fish just yet, because it's going to take a while to get those veggies. Um, so we'll go back to that after. I'll never remember <laughs> by the next video. <laughs> I'm just being honest. We tried something with that and we failed at it, didn't we? Take the die. Sure. You're pretty good all around. Let's see what destiny, let's see what destiny holds for you. Roll the die. Six and one, highest and lowest. Seven, a lucky number. The one that encompasses everything. Embrace your future. This feels like a blessing from whatever gods are playing dice with mortal lives. Wow, you didn't know it was possible to be so immersed in a game. Something unnatural is at play here. Interesting. Check the box. Intelligentsia. You take the box in your hands. It's heavy and looks quite robust. You're not sure what could be inside. You're probably missing something. It has to be some kind of brain teaser, right? Good. After careful examination, you come to the illogical yet obvious conclusion that the box has no opening mechanism at all. This seems to be some kind of dummy or a divine trick. If it can be opened, it's not by any physical means. Check the box. Shake the box. You shake the box and hear a faint metallic sound. You shake it again and hear something like sand. This gets weirder by the minute. You shake it one more time and you don't hear a sound. One last time and a laugh. What a great... You keep shaking the box and each time you hear something different. You decide to put it back before going insane. What a... Oh fantastic idea. I wonder if that's taken from anything. Tomo. This idea that a, a box sounds different every time you shake it and could drive you insane. You take the box in your hands. It's heavy and looks quite robust. You're not sure what could be inside. Open the lid. Of course, no matter how hard you pull or which side you try, it doesn't open. <laughs> I, I wonder... Um, I don't know, man. 
Is there something we're missing? If we had... Like, I can't see us just smashing it. Like, <laughs> that doesn't seem like a wise use of... <sighs> Smash it. Brute force can sometimes be the best approach. Box shatters into many fragments, but you don't see anything inside. Was it empty all along? As you ponder the absurd mysteries of existence, you suddenly notice the box is back on the table. Undamaged. What trickery is this? That is awesome. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, that's got to be inspired by something, right? Like some uh, some folklore, European folklore, or um, ancient story, or even not so ancient story. Um, what are we doing? What do we need? What do, what do we desire? I'm having trouble clearing out the map because I'm avoiding these runes because I know one of them has like a naked lady and uh, a mysterious cave and I don't want to edit <laughs> but I've got to clear some of this out I've got to find curse I've got to find insults and I've got to that's it what is what is um the checklist for the the small guy no there is no more for the small guy not the small anchor dude, the silent guy. Um, yeah, so we're looking for curse and we're looking for, for insults. So until we're able to, to take that plunge, um, we're really at a, a crossroads. So I'm going to, I'm going to end it here and, uh, and, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the, um, the complete, <laughs> complete free <laughs> episode. Um, you know, changes coming on a regular basis, you know, so I don't know if I can, I can't necessarily promise daily videos, um, especially with the upcoming wonderful vacation I'll get to spend with my wife over the next two weeks. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Until next time, see you soon.